Hooray for Deffin Differ Day by Dr. Seuss. I've always lived in Dinkinville. My friends all live here too. We go to Dinkin Differ School. We're happy that we do. Our school is at the corner of Dinker Zuber and Dinkin Zoo. It looks like any other school, but we suspect it's not. I think we're learning lots of things, not taught at other schools. Our teachers are remarkable. They make up their own rules. Miss Wobble teaches listening and Miss Wobble teaches smelling. Miss Fribble teaches laughing and Miss Quibble teaches yelling. Miss Swinning teaches tying knots and neckerchiefs and noodles and how to tell chrysanthemums from miniature poodles. Miss Winning teaches all the ways a pigeon may be peppered and how to put a saddle on a lizard or a leopard. My teacher is Miss Bonker. She is as bouncy as a flea. I'm not certain what she teaches, but I'm glad she teaches me. Look, look, she chirps. I'll show you how to tell a cactus from a cow. And then I shall instruct you on why a hippo cannot hope to fly. She even teaches frogs to dance and pigs to put on underpants. One day she taught a duck to sing. Miss Bonkers teaches everything. Of all teachers in our school, I like Miss Bonkers best. Our teachers are, are all different, but she's different than the rest. We also have a principal. His name is Mr. Wool. He is the very saddest man that any of us know. He mumbles, are they learning this and that and such and such. His face is wrinkled as a prune from worrying so much. He breaks a lot of pencil points from pu pushing down too hard and many dogs start barking as he mops around the yard. We think he wears false eyebrows. In fact, we sure it's so. We've heard he takes them off at night. I guess we'll never know. But we know he likes Miss Bonkers. He treats her like a queen. He's always there to watch her when she's on her trampoline. Our music teacher, Mrs. Fox, makes bagpipes out of straws and socks. Our art instructor, Mr. Bees, paints pictures hanging by his knees. There are many other people who make Deaf and Doofer run. They're utterly amazing. I love every single one. Our nurse, Miss Clot, knows what to do when we've got the sniffles or the flu. One day I had a splinter, so she bandaged it for me from head to toe. Miss Plunger, or Custodin, has fas fashioned a machine, a super zooper flipper do. It keeps the whole school clean. In science class with Mr. Cats, we learn to build robotic rats, and Jim watches Mr. Bear hoist elephants into the air. Miss Loon is our librarian. She hides behind the shelves and often cries out louder when we are reading to ourselves. We have three cooks, all named Mick Munch, who merrily prepare our lunch. They make us hot dogs, beans and fries, plus everything we don't recognise. And as they cook, they sing their song, not too short and not too long. Roast and toast and slice and dice, cooking lunch is also nice. We are eating their concoctions, telling jokes and making noise, when Mr. Lowe appeared and howled, attention girls and boys. He began to fuss and fidget, scratch mu and mutter and sneeze and cough. He shook his head so hard, we thought his eyebrows would come off. He wrung his hands, he cleared his throat, he shed a single tear, then sobbed, I have something to announce, and that's why I'm here. All the schools for miles and miles around must take a special test to see who's learning such and such and to see which school's the best. If a small school does not do well, then it'll be torn down and you'll need you'll have to go to Judy Rock Flobber Town. Not Flobber Town, we shouted, and we shuddered at the, at the name. For everyone in Flobber Town does everything the same. It's miserable in Flobber Town. They dress in just one style. They sing one song. They never dance. They march in a single file. They do not have a playground and they do not have a park. The lunches have no taste at all. Their dogs are scared to bark. Miss Bonkers rolls, don't fret, she said. You've learned the things you need to pass the test and many more. I'm certain you'll succeed. We've taught you that the earth is round and red and white makes pink and something else that matters more. 
We've taught you how to think. I hope you're right, sighed Mr. Low. He shed another tear. In ten minutes, you'll be taking the test right here. We sat in shock and disbelief. Oh no, we moaned, oh no. We were even more unhappy than unhappy Mr. Lowe. But then the test was handed out. Yahoo, we yelled, Yahoo. For it was filled with all things that we knew we knew. There were questions about noodles, about poodles, frogs and yelling, and listening and laughing and chrysanthemums and smelling. And there were questions about other things we'd never seen or heard. And yet we somehow answered them, enjoying every word. One week later, after recess, Mr. Lowe meandered in. We'd never seen him smile before, but now he wore a grin. He soon began to giggle, then his giggle grew by half, and then it really happened. Mr. Lowe began to laugh. You've saved our school, you've saved our school, he jubilantly roared. Now we've got the highest score, he wrote it on the board. Miss Bonkers did some cartwheels till her face turned cherry red. She bounded up to Mr. Lowe and kissed him on the head. Hooray, hooray, she shouted. I'm so proud I cannot speak. So she did another cartwheel and she pecked him on the cheek. Ahem, ahem, coughed Mr. Lowe. You all deserve a bow. I shall declare a holiday. It starts exactly now. Because you've done so splendidly in every sort of way, this day shall forever be known as Differ Differ Day. And furthermore, I promise I won't ever wear a frown, for now I know we'll never go to dreary flubber town. Then we held a celebration, there was pizza, milk and cake. Like everyone that ate too much and got a belly ache. We laughed and whooped and hollered the entire school day long. Then we all sang, sang triumphantly the Diff and Differ song. We love you Diff and Differ school, we definitely do. There surely is no other school that's anything like you. You're grubulous, you're grubulous. Each day we love you more. You are the school we treasure and unceasingly adore. Oh, finest school in Dinkerville, the only one as well. We love you, Diff and Duffer School, much more than we can tell. You are so Diff and Dufferous, it gives us joy to say, three cheers for Diff and Duffer School.